Welcome to the ProVac Zoom Long Crack Repair Training Video. Using a marker, place a dot about a quarter to eighth of an inch past the end of the long crack. This will serve as a guide as to where to begin drilling. Proper drilling technique involves pressing and lifting continuously until you reach about halfway through the first layer of glass. You do not want to go all the way through to the plastic layer in the middle of the windshield. Once you've reached the desired depth, use the probe and the top of the injector to tap the drill hole slightly. If you do not immediately get a small bullseye, you may want to drill a little bit deeper and then try again. Now we want to connect the long crack into the bullseye. To do this, use the probe and press directly at the end of the long crack until it connects with the bullseye. You may try this either on the inside of the windshield or the outside. Apply one drop of suction cup sealant to each of the suction cups of the tripod and then slide it back and forth in the area that it will have to move. Install the corner edge extension into the tripod and adjust the leveling screw so that the front of the corner edge extension is in a slight downward angle. Now load the injector with resin. Depending on the length of the crack, you may want to use between 7 and 12 drops of resin. And if it's a very long crack, you may need to stop and reload the injector with resin at some point. We recommend using either Crack Weld 1000 or Crack Weld 2000 for the injection of the resin. Crack Weld 2000 is a little bit thicker, and while it may take a little longer to fill, it allows for better resin adhesion, especially in climates where there are drastic temperature changes. Crack Weld 1000 is a little bit thinner and will fill a little bit faster. It's ideal for tight cracks and a moderate climate. Now install the injector into the stand extension and make sure that it clicks onto the glass one or two times. Now pull a vacuum and leave it for about 30 seconds under vacuum cycle. Begin the resin pressure cycle by threading the piston downwards until the white seal puffs up just slightly. You do not want to overpressurize the resin. Install the crack expander on the inside of the windshield with a small amount of suction cup sealant on the suction cups and thread the leveling screw inward so that it pressures the crack outwards. It's a good idea to keep your crack expander one or two inches away from the tip of the injector at all times. Once the resin starts flowing, you can progressively slide the injector and stand forward along the crack, reaching the area where the resin is flowing. As you continue forward, you will want to use Crackwell 2000 resin and some small film tabs behind the area where you have already filled. Leave the film tab and resin in place and this will help to seal it off. You will likely need to reposition the crack expander two or three times during the process to ensure that it's always ahead of the injector body. Continue this process of sliding the injector along and you may need to increase the resin pressure from time to time by threading the handle downwards. As you move forward, you will want to progressively seal off the area that has already been filled behind you. Again, using film tabs and Crackwell 2000 resin to do so. Once the resin and the tip of the injector have reached the initial break, you'll want to back off the resin pressure slightly and then remove the injector from the extension tool. Next, remove the extension tool and then the tripod. If there are any remaining portions of the crack that need to be sealed off with film tabs and Crackwell 2000 resin, now is the time to do so. Next, place the Procure Plus curing light in position and start the timer for one minute curing. Depending on the length of the long crack, you may need to reposition the light two or three times along the crack in order to cure the entire crack. Using a razor blade, scrape off all of the dried resin from the surface of the crack. Now what's left is to repair the initial break. Follow the same steps as you would with any repair to complete this process. Congratulations, you have completed your first long crack repair with the ProVac Zoom.